The Sims 4, undoubtedly the most popular life sim ever made, where you can live out a totally normal life, where nothing out of the ordinary happens. How far can a noob get in 100 days, when they start with absolutely nothing? I played 100 days of The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. Hello everybody, this is Gamergar, and today we are playing The Sims 4. I am going to attempt to do a Rags to Riches challenge, where I start with zero simoleons, and my overall goal will be to complete both the fabulously wealthy and mansion barren aspirations before my sim ages up. I do have some rules that will limit how I can make money. Rule number one, I cannot get a job. All of the money I make needs to be made outside of a career. And rule number two, I cannot get married and sell any of their belongings or houses. I do have a few packs and expansions extolled, and I'm allowing myself to use these to make money. Let's get right into it and see how I did. On the first day, I start off by fishing just off to the side of my lot. Fishing will be one of the main ways I plan on making money at the beginning stages of this challenge. On day one, I have already fished up a few fish and other bits I can sell. After fishing for a bit, I need to go off to the toilet, so I'm going to head to the park where there are some public bathrooms. Generally, there are some people around to talk to, so I can fill my social needs that way. There are also some grills here where I'll be able to sell some fish to afford to cook some burgers so I don't starve. <laughs> There's also this bench indoors where I can have a quick nap. The next day, I went around the park looking for some collectibles. There are rocks that can be mined. I can also look for frogs in logs and harvest some berries from bushes. So there's actually a lot to do in the park in terms of survivability. After this, it's time for some more fishing to make more money. After a while, I went to the bar to have a chat with some people to increase my social needs. Bar is usually a good spot to increase social needs as there is usually a few people here regardless of the time. I have a dance and a chat before realizing I'm really hungry. I go to the bar and get some free chips because I'm hungry and I spotted a bench out the back where I can take another nap. The main problem with napping is that it never fills your energy bar when you are really tired. Because of this, I had to take multiple naps to get my energy into the green. After I woke up from a few naps on the bench, I went back into the bar for some free chips before heading back to my lot. I sold everything I had collected the previous day. I can now afford a few bits on my lot to meet some of my needs. I bought a toilet and a bed so I can now sleep on my lot. <laughs> I planted some of the strawberries I collected in the park, which would turn into a really nice source of money for myself. I guess even when I'm not playing Stardew Valley, some things never change. It took me a while to plant and water the strawberries, but it'll be worth it once they've grown and can be harvested. And then I decided to head to the gym. At the gym, I worked out and I met some new people. When I returned to the lot, I bought a sink and a cooler, so I can now look after my hygiene and hunger needs. I also bought an easel, so I can start painting to make more money. As there are usually people out walking around the neighbourhood, I took the opportunity to have a chat with some passers-by as my social needs are low again. I did some stargazing with this random woman before calling it a night. <laughs> the following day, I tended to my strawberries and completed a few paintings to increase my painting skill. The higher my skill, the more my paintings would be worth. I found a random garden went out for a run, so I harvested what I could and returned to my lot. I planted some potatoes, mushrooms and apples from what I collected. This will surely make me some decent money every day. I am finally able to afford some walls so I can have a roof over my head. I can also afford a shower and I made myself a small bathroom. I can only imagine what the neighbours were thinking when they seen me move in and just place a toilet in the middle of a field. I fertilised my strawberries with some extra mushrooms I collected to hopefully increase their quality. Since I have the kleptomaniac trait, I get the need to steal from other sims every now and again. There is another way I can make money early game, but I need to be careful I don't get caught in the act. I somehow didn't see Bob asleep here on the couch, 
So he caught me red-handed. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I stayed the night playing on the computer, and the following morning I managed to swipe a lamp from the pancakes house and passed out on their floor. Back home and it's time to complete some more paintings. At the moment, it is the only thing in my little house to keep me entertained. I think I'll need to buy a TV or a computer when I can afford it. Even though this painting looks like it was completed by a 5 year old, it's still sold for over 200 simoleons. Some people have strange taste I guess, but I'm surely not complaining. I visited the godhouse to go and chat with Bella. <laughs> Bella and I are slowly starting to become good friends. The gods are probably my favourite NPCs in The Sims game. They were the first family I ever played as in The Sims 1, back when it came out when I was a kid. I would love to know what happened to Bella in The Sims 3 though. If anyone knows the lore behind this, can you let me know in the comments below? It's something I always wondered about. We had a good chat and on some cloud gazing before heading into her house. While I was there, I swiped another lamp to sell. This brought me up to mischief level 2. The higher my mischief skill is, the better items I'll be able to steal. When I got home, I tended to my crops, and I gathered enough money to finally buy a fridge. I sold the crops I harvested from my garden, and I was not expecting as much money at all. After I sold the crops, I could afford an oven, so now I can make myself a hot meal in my small little house. I decided to make myself some grilled cheese. This brought me up to level 2 in cooking, which was pretty nice. The better I am at cooking, the less likely I am to set my house on fire. After the next harvest of my little garden, I'm able to afford even more upgrades to my little house. I was able to afford a PC, and I put the desk and chair into this little corner here. There isn't a lot of space in here, but it was the best place for it. The first thing I decided to do with the PC is to practice programming. It might be something I can use later on to make some money if I get my skill high enough. Another day and more crops to tend to. I do like how crops can be harvested every day as it generates so much money, but it does get a bit boring harvesting them every day. I decided to go visit Bella again because my social needs were very low. She really started to cheer me up so I gave her a hug. Before you know it, we'd be best friends. I really hope Mortimer doesn't get the wrong idea though. <laughs> Because I'm a kleptomaniac, I just had to steal something else. I just can't seem to help myself. This time, I stole another lamp. I think this one might have been Alexander's. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't steal it from kids. I did reach level 3 mischief though. Acting like nothing happened, I had a back downstairs and had a good chat with Bella in her bedroom. I swear, Mortimer, you have nothing to worry about. We really are just friends. <laughs> the following morning, I tended to my crops again. And I had a visit from Bella. <laughs> to my surprise, she decided to fight me when I greeted her at the door. Maybe it's because I keep seeing all of her lamps. <laughs> Straight after the fight, she gave me a gift. I don't think I'll ever understand women, to be honest. I can barely understand my own wife. <laughs> with the bit of money I made, I decided to extend my kitchen and replace my bed with a Murphy bed. So I have somewhere to sit as well as having somewhere to sleep. After this, I decided to go visit Summer across the road to get my social up. While I was there, I could not help it but to steal another lamp. I don't know why people keep leaving me into their houses, to be honest. Again, acting like nothing happened, I sat down with Summer and Travis for a chat. I bought a candle making table and I also placed the planter that Bella had gifted me. To make candles, I needed to buy some pigments and wax. And then, I was off to find some bits to recycle. I decided to recycle a few bits from my inventory that I wasn't going to use. I then went dumpster diving for even more trash to recycle. I don't think I ever needed a shower so bad in my entire life, but at least I can now make some candles. Crafting candles increases your fabrication skill. As my fabrication skill was at zero, I was only able to craft different candles. Over time, I will unlock more advanced candles, which will bring me in more money. I painted my first masterpiece, and it sold for a whopping 1600 simoleons. I went to the gym to get my exercise in. I done some weights and had a run on the treadmill. After a quick shower, I decided to go fishing for the evening. Fishing is a great way to increase your fun, while also making money. 
Since I was in such a good mood, I stayed fishing for the rest of the evening. The next day, I entered a novice gaming tournament. Even though my gaming skill was at very high, I thought I'd give it a go. I entered the tournament for The Sims Go, as this was the game I played the most of. But I lost, so I cried it out in bed. I went dumpster diving again so I could craft some more candles. As I was dumpster diving, I tried to get my social needs up at the same time. The only problem was the only other person here was extremely boring. I think I would have been better off having a chat with the dumpster. In the dumpster though, I did manage to find a bike, which was pretty cool. After I finished dumpster diving, I was again in bad need of a shower. I have now accumulated enough recycling points from my dumpster diving to craft a few candles. I made a few in different colours before deciding to sell everything in my inventory for a nice money boost. Between crops, candles and other bits and bobs, I managed to bring in over 4,000 simoleons. I returned to the pancakes house determined to steal the lamb Bob had caught me trying to steal a few days ago. As I walked up to the door, I discovered the pancakes baby was trying to make a break for it. They really need to do some baby proofing. I walked into the room as there was no one around. This was my chance. I walked over and snatched the lamp from the table. With the bit of money that I have, I bought a microwave, bin and coffee machine. I was feeling confident today, so I completed a few large paintings. I had a look at the neighborhood action plan and realized that rough housing was encouraged. That explains why people were randomly attacking me. I put a few points into the activities that I thought would benefit me and I bought a few energy saving items like a wind turbine and some solar panels. I'm off to the park to meet some people to get my social needs up and while I'm there I have a good game of chess. From playing chess I acquired the logic skill. Unfortunately I was really uncomfortable because I had eaten a microwave meal before coming to the park and it just wasn't sitting right. It just goes to show that even if you buy an expensive microwave, it just does not replace the quality of food an oven gives. Next time, I'll just have to put in extra time and cook something in the oven. Once I was done, I went for a quick jog and completed a few more paintings. Since I've increased my gaming skill, I entered another gaming tournament. This time, I managed to come second, which wasn't too bad at all. While I only won 65 simoleons for placing second, I was still really happy with placing in the tournament. When my skill is a bit higher, I may even be able to enter the professional tournaments. At the end of the day, I went for another quick jog after a bit too much coffee. I went fishing again for another money boost and then Summer called over for a chat. We really seemed to hit it off and we had our first kiss. When harvesting my crops, I realized my wind turbine was broken, so I had to repair it. Once I repaired it, I reached level 3 handiness. Some of my strawberry plants could be evolved, and they reached nice quality. They should now sell for a higher price. I met some more candles, and in the afternoon, I headed to the gym and did some boxing to blow off some steam. That evening, I invited Summer out for a drink in the local bar and we had a great time socialising. While chatting with Summer at the bar, another guest decided to join our conversation. For some reason, he made me very uncomfortable. Once he left, my mood improved and I was back to my usual happy self. I had a total blast with Summer, leaving the bar with my needs all nearly full. Bella then called around with another gift for me. I'm really glad that she didn't decide to beat me up before giving me a gift this time. Thinking about it, I haven't stole anything from her recently, so I think she's forgiven me. This time, it was some lovely pancakes. Guess I know what I'm having for dinner. We done some stargazing before Bella called to the night and went home. More candle making and gardening are on the cards for me today. And yet again, my wind turbine is broken. Once it's fixed, it's time for some more dumpster diving and recycling. The next morning, I went for a run, and after that, it was time for some more house modifications. I added two new rooms, giving me an actual bedroom. I purchased a crafting table, 
and a fabricator and I turned one of the new rooms into a crafting room. I also purchased a recycling machine so I no longer needed to travel to recycle items. The crafting room will come in super handy in terms of organisation and I can then go ahead and buy a couch for the living room slash kitchen area. It's time now to trade in the Murphy bed for an actual bed. I then added a few decorative bits in the bedroom to make it look cosier. My little house is slowly turning into a home with everything I need to live comfortably and to get my skills up. I tried to craft a dresser in the fabricator, but it decided to eat me. <laughs> Maybe I started too big too soon. A guy called Knox arrived at my door looking to use my recycling machine. In return, he tended to my garden while I once again fixed my wind turbine. Trying to do green just doesn't seem to be worth it right now. More of my crops could now be evolved, increasing the quality of them. At this stage, I think most of my strawberries have been evolved once, and about half the potatoes and mushrooms. Some are even getting close to evolving a second time. I can hire a gardener to tend to my crops, but I can't afford it right now. It may be something I can afford later on. I then head to the gym to relieve some tension and to look after my social needs yet again. I kind of wish I had selected the loaner trade at the beginning so I didn't have to socialise so often. <laughs> I think soon I might buy myself some exercise equipment so I don't have to travel to the gym as often. I took some weights and I ran into Bella. I seem to meet her nearly every time I leave the house. I think she might be following me. Since my house is now looking much better, I decided to make my crops look a little nicer and create a vegetable garden. I added a fence and a gate and put all of my crops inside. I changed the ground texture to soil to make it look the part. Since strawberries seemed to be the most profitable out of the crops I had in my inventory, I planted some more to fill up the empty spaces. Thinking about it now, I should have purchased higher quality seeds to plant in the long run that would have made money. It's time to purchase a retail unit to try and make some more cash. So I picked this lot in Magnolia Promenade. I transferred some money from my home funds into the business to afford a simple building. I started with a pretty large room, added some windows, and a door and a lick of paint. Then I added some tables and display stands throughout the shop. These are going to be where I place my crafted items from the workbench and my canvas. I've placed all of my candles, paintings and crafted items around the store. For the extra challenge, I can only sell items I have crafted myself or I got for free from other sims. I can't stock any items from the buy menu. I think this might make it too easy. I could easily just sell violins for 15,000 simoleons with a 100% markup, selling each for 30,000. But where's the fun in that? It would remove the challenge. My very first sale was to Bella, and lucky for me, it was a painting worth 800 simoleons. There are a lot of customers in the shop, so I'm hopeful that I'll get a few sales before I can call it a day. After a while, my needs started to drop, so I had to start thinking about closing up shop for the day. My last customer was Katrina, who purchased a painting worth over 2,000 simoleons. When I closed for the day, I brought in just under 7,000 simoleons. Not bad for my first day. Back home, I decided to give the fabricator another go, and luckily this time, I got away without a scratch. I crafted a few more items that I'd be able to sell in my retail store. Some were called over later that day, and we made dinner together. Finishing cooking brought me up to level 8 cooking. Back to the shop now and I decided I would use the restock option for sold items before opening. Restocking smaller items like candles is beneficial as they take time to make but don't sell for much. It's not worth the time investment to craft new ones. For larger items like paintings, it is probably better to paint a new one as they would cost much more to restock. By the end of the day, I managed to bring in over 10,000 simoleons. To complete my first milestone for my aspiration, I placed 15 of my own paintings around my house, moving me on to the next stage. Bella called around again, and we done some cloud gazing. Cloud gazing is great, because it's the quickest way to increase both your friendship and social needs. 
I thought it would be a good idea to purchase some weights, so I didn't have to visit the gym as frequently as I have been. I decided to invest some money into the shop. The first thing I did was add a bathroom. This would stop customers leaving because they need to use the toilet or even worse, peeing on my floors. I added the bathrooms in the center of the room so that it gave me more available wall space to place my paintings to sell. At this stage, I decided that I was going to rebrand the shop into an art gallery. By far, the paintings were making the most profit and I felt that selling the lower cost items was not worth the effort it took to make them. Once you increase your painting skill, you really can start making a lot of money from your paintings, especially if the painting is a masterpiece. I added a big sign when you come in the door and a red carpet going around the gallery, trying to make it look the part. I added lights above the paintings before opening the shop again. At the end of the day, I took in 16,000 simoleons just from selling paintings. This was definitely the right decision to make. I traded in some perk points to get the register of the future. Later on, I managed to max out my gardening skill and got the green dumb achievement. Then, as part of my aspiration, I had to spend 5,000 on landscaping. I decided to make myself a nice pond beside my crops, which I filled with loads of plants and flowers to make it look pretty. I placed some trees and bushes around the rest of the garden and added a path leading to my crops and new pond. The next day, I super sold all of my crops, gaining me over 3,000 simoleons. I then restocked the gallery with the new paintings I had completed over the last few days. I decided to complete new paintings rather than just restocking sold items. Although this took much longer, the profits are much higher, so I thought this would make the most money in the long term. The little room I added to the side of the gallery is great for when my needs are low. I have a bed, a toilet and a sink. I also have a cooler which is super handy. Having these will cover most of my needs while the shop is open. It is hard to take a nap because it seems every time I nap I need to cut it short for a sale. But of course, that's not a bad thing. Having these available to me means I can leave the gallery open longer, increasing my profits. I do feel like the number of sales has reduced since I changed to a gallery just selling paintings, but the overall profit is much higher. I had another super successful day bringing in over 20,000 simoleons. After a long and stressful day, Summer decided to call over and we finally woohooed, which really improved my mood. I sold some more crops and learning quickly that crops are overpowered if you put the time into managing a bigger plot. The bills are in and they are 1300 smallions, but they had to be paid if I want my lights to stay on. It was a lovely evening so I decided to relax in my lovely new garden and then went for a late night swim. It was time to complete some paintings to restock the gallery. Once I was burnt out from painting, I went for a run on the treadmill. Since so increasing my fitness level, I can now complete the hill challenge on the treadmill. This is really handy as it's a more intense workout. Bella called over for a visit and we decided to become best friends. I suppose she has forgiven me for stealing all of her lamps. <laughs> we had a really great chat, which I needed because my social needs were very low again. Maybe if I left the house and didn't work so much, I wouldn't have to worry about my social needs. I do always seem to neglect it when I'm at home. That is one of the benefits of the gallery too. Because I'm constantly talking to customers, my social needs are always full. Knox also decided to visit me. He once again wanted to use my recycling machine. I told him he could use it and in return he took out my trash and tended to my garden. Who needs a gardener when you have Knox around? <laughs> When she had left, it was off to the gallery to restock my paintings. Ah, 
I spent the day chatting to customers trying to convince them to buy my art. And after being open for a whopping 39 hours, I managed to bring in 25,000 simoleons. Thank God for my bed. I wouldn't want to have passed out in front of customers. <laughs> With all the money I've made from the gallery and crops, it's about time I redo the house to make it actually look like a house. Since the garden had taken so long to do, I decided to keep the same footprint for the house and just remodel the interior. I added a second story and spent a while trying to figure out how to roof the building and what windows I should select. I love using these big windows as they let in a huge amount of natural light and give a fabulous view of the garden. If I ever build my own house in real life, I'd love to incorporate something similar. Next, I remodelled the interior of the house. Now, I initially wanted the stairs to be in the centre of the room when you enter the door, but it didn't look quite right with the shape of the room, so I decided to add it over by the wall. Next up, I added the walls to try and divide the ground floor up into separate rooms. I separated the kitchen and the adjoining room with the wall and added a spandrel as I wanted these to be two separate rooms, but I still wanted it somewhat open plan. I then built a garden shed to move all of my crafting items so I could repurpose it into a living room. It took me a while to find a door to add to my shed. I don't have a huge amount of options as I don't have many packs installed. I chose the sliding door because it was the closest to the look I wanted for the shed. I added a curve to the roof and brought in the eaves. I chose white cabinets for the kitchen and I purchased the best fridge and oven that were available to me so I wouldn't need to worry about them constantly breaking down on me. I bought a coffee machine and a microwave and then added a few clutter items to make it look less empty. I also added a breakfast bar and some stools. I added a fruit bowl and some salt and pepper shakers. I tried to see if there was anything else I could place on the walls but didn't see anything that I thought went well. And I chose this glass dining table and teal chairs. I added this multicolored rug under the dining table. I think adding this bit of color looked well, as the kitchen I had selected was so white. Then I decided the paint color I had selected didn't really match, so I changed the paint and the flooring. I added some art and a bottle shelf to decorate the walls. Next, I moved to the living room, where I bought a really nice TV and furniture ensuring it still went well with the colours in the kitchen. I added some plants in the corner of the room to add a pop of colour and to decorate the room as there was no wall space to decorate. After that, I decided to move to the entrance hall and to be honest, I didn't really know what to do with this area. I added large rug, piano and a little seating area and I just moved on to the next zone in the house. After finishing the build, I received an achievement in the game. So I decided to spend some of my perk points. I chose Speedy Cleaner and Marketable. I reached level 8 in fitness today and done some gardening. When my bill arrived, I was shocked that they had reached 11,000 simoleons. The house remodel really caused the bills to increase. I spent the next few days mainly painting for the gallery. With my painting skill maxed out, my paintings are now worth more consistently, especially with the odd masterpiece here and there. I got called over for some downtime, so we went for a swim and I cooked us dinner where I reached level 3 in gourmet cooking. Unfortunately, since most of my lot was already taken up with my crops and pond, I only had room for this small pool out of the back of my house. It's an okay size for two people, but won't be having any pool parties anytime soon. Once again, I stocked the gallery with my new paintings. I've completed just enough to fill each available spot. It will surely take me a lot of time to sell all of these paintings. It's back to the grind and it's time to sell some paintings. It took a long time and some convincing, but I managed to sell all of the new paintings in the gallery. There may be some unhappy customers that I totally sold out, but they'll just have to come back next time. But after 36 hours, I made 56,000 smolians. This surely has been well on the way to completing my aspiration. I once again entered a gaming tournament and managed to come in second place, giving me a focused buff. I then used my telescope to spy on the neighbors to increase my mischief skill. I think people must be a little suspicious 
that I'm using my telescope during the day. The following day, I reached level 8 gaming. I also needed to socialise, so I called for Knox for a good old chat. While I was there, someone set fire to the barbecue. In a panic, myself and Knox ran outside to see what was going on. This was the first fire I had witnessed, which is surprising with how cheap my kitchen appliances were until recently. Me being the hero, I stepped up and put it out saving everyone's lives. I could evolve some crops to excellent quality, which was really nice. I also completed a few more paintings. I even managed to complete another masterpiece, which would make me a very decent profit indeed. I received a very suspicious call from a ghost, which was extremely random. He stated I had been left money from a very distant relative. I asked him what the conditions were, and I was awarded 2,500 simoleons as a result. Not too bad. I was now trying to increase my logic skill using the telescope. I spotted a meteor heading straight for Earth. That's enough telescope for me tonight. <laughs> I completed the home renovator goal in the mansion, Baron Aspiration. For the next goal, I needed to buy 20 columns. I had no idea where I was going to place all of the columns, but then I realized they looked nice as corner assets. This allowed me to complete this portion of the aspiration rather easily. The next step is to increase my lot value to 350,000 simoleons. I have a feeling that's not going to be so easy. <laughs> so I crafted a few sculptures at the workbench to increase my fabrication skill and then managed to get level 5 in gourmet cooking. The super sale of my crops have increased to 6,500 simoleons. Not too shabby. The next day I decided to make a small kitchen in my room at the gallery so I can have some sort of decent meal. After that... I decided I needed some help to try and manage sales, so I hired an employee. The day at the gallery was so tiring, I fell asleep in the bath. I know baths are relaxing, but this might be a little dangerous. I should stick to sleeping in my bed from now on. I fished up a cow plant berry, so I planted it in with the rest of my crops since I've never actually had one in the game before. I cannot wait for it to fully grow so I can see what it looks like. Ooh. Being nosy, I used my telescope to spy on all of the neighbours before heading off to bed. Uh -huh. When I got up, I done some weights and I managed to reach level 9 in fitness. Not too bad at all. I'll reach level 10 before I know it. I had a really nice chat with Bella while tending to my garden and after a few more days, my cow plant is fully grown. It was time to feed my cow plant and oh boy was he hungry. <laughs> he nearly took my hand with the food. Maybe he likes the taste of human flesh. I'm sure that's not it. He probably is just very hungry and is keen to make some friends. Shortly after feeding the cow plant, he offered me a slice of cake. I love cake, so I fell for his trap. Before I knew it, he had swallowed me whole. I thought this was the end, but luckily he spat me out and now I'm terrified of plants. <laughs> I won't be going near his mouth again anytime soon. I bought a hot tub to relax after my near-death experience. I placed the hot tub here beside my shed under a bunch of trees. It took me a bit of time to move all of the grass and flowers I had placed so the hot tub could be put down without them glitching through it. And since I'm terrified of plants, I hired a gardener to tend to my crops. Once he was done, I realised I didn't harvest any of the crops, so I need to get over my fear. I went to milk the cow plant the next time I was confident, only to find out the cow plant had died. I disposed of the dead plant, and I tried to plant another cow plant, but my fear of plants <laughs> stopped me from planting it. Totally lost for how to fix my fear of plants now, I decided to remove my garden area. This will really decrease the amount of money I'm making every day, but the gallery is making really good money now, so it's not the end of the world. I repurposed this area into a little barbecue area with a bench and a lounger. That gate didn't end up working well when I tested it, so I replaced it with a few steps instead. Summer called over and we tested out the new hot tub, giving me a nice emotional buff. 
One summer left, I played some video games and managed to reach level 9 in gaming. Now I should have no problem doing well in future gaming tournaments. To finally complete the Mansion Baron aspiration, I built a basement where I can add a few new rooms to increase the value of the lot. Reaching 350,000 simoleons is going to be really difficult because I initially selected a small lot size. Since all of the above ground space was already occupied, I decided to go down rather than up. I painted each of the rooms I had built in the basement. This space is going to be mainly for entertainment and increasing my skills. The main thing I don't like about the basements is the lack of natural light and windows. I added another bathroom downstairs as there is none on the ground level. I decided to do another full size bathroom in the basement. I included a big fancy bath that I hopefully won't fall asleep in. To increase my skills, I added a lab equipped with an analyzer, a microscope, and even a cloning machine. Next, I added a bar area where I could maybe host some parties. In the bar, I added some tables and chairs for my guests to sit. I picked these glass and black chairs, which I think look nice in the space. I added a nice big TV on the wall and a few bits of decor. Beside the window, I added by the pool. I included a nice seating area, which I think would be really relaxing in real life. Summer called to invite me out on a date to the caboose. I said yes, and off we went for a few drinks. When we got there, it didn't seem to be too busy, with just a few people here. It was really early in the afternoon, so maybe that's why. We went to the bar, and I bought us a round of drinks. We chatted for a while, which filled my social bar. Trying to chat with Summer was not as easy as I would have hoped at times. For some reason, I didn't want to sit beside her when we were talking. Maybe she had bad breath or something. Even with that, I really seemed to be enjoying myself out socialising. Then someone decided to sit right in between us while we were mid-conversation, but we were able to continue our chat. Even so, we had a great date, and I left with all of my needs nearly full to the max. The following day, I decided it was time that I started using my basement that I had built. Down in my lab, I was tinkering around at my equipment, and I got the option to try and contact aliens. Thinking it wouldn't work, I tried, and to my surprise, out popped an alien. Since I was the one to summon her, I did sit down and have a chat with her before she decided it was time to head back home. We sat in my kitchen and we had a chat. What I found very strange was that she was able to speak Simlish and we could understand each other. This gives me the feeling that this is not the first time she's been here. Once she had returned home, I finished tinkering around in my lab, making sure I didn't summon any more aliens, as they may not be as nice next time. <laughs> I spent some time analysing samples using my microscope. This increased my logic skill. I then used my analyzer and detected multiple new elements, which I added to an element display board in my lab. Back in the gallery, I purchased a serious shopper using my perk points, meaning customers would be more serious about buying a painting when they enter the gallery. I somehow sold some very expensive paintings to a couple of kids. I don't know where they got the money from, but I'm not complaining. I'll happily take their money. <laughs> Having the serious shopper park made sales that little bit easier, with some customers coming into the gallery with their sale bar half full. I totally sold out, making 101,000 Somalians in profit. My perk points had built up again, so I purchased the ability to hire a second employee. I chose Liberty Lee as my second employee, as she was really qualified. I saw the end of my paintings, completing the fabulously wealthy aspiration, completing the 50,000 Smolians and Reserve Goal. This means we have completed both the fabulously wealthy and the Mansion Baron aspirations.
I spent some of my money expanding my lab in the basement, including some decorative items to make it look more like a lab. It is now a lot less cramped. I also added another little room in the basement with a cupcake machine. After all of this, it's finally time for my birthday, so I threw myself a party for the occasion. So I grabbed my phone and began scheduling an event. I select a birthday party from the list of available events. I invited all of my friends, hired a caterer, a mixologist and an entertainer. I said I would go all out because of how successful my last 112 days have been. I selected my house as a venue and got ready for my party. I put on some music for my guests as one of the objectives for the party is to have guests dance. No one seems to be in the mood for dancing though. Time to make a cake so I can blow out the candles so I can age up. Once my guests arrived, it was time to blow out my candles, aging up into an adult. Aging up gave me older and wiser achievement. I may be older, but I'm not too sure about the wiser bit to be honest. <laughs> now let's have some cake. A fight broke out in my kitchen. The cake must have been really good if people are fighting over it. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, put a money emoji into the comment section. See you in the next video.